Hey guys, Coda Karnas here. Welcome back to the workbench. So today I've got an interesting little one. I've got one of these. It's a serial MP3 player. So one of these is basically an iPod, if you remember those. And of course we need a Nano and a little SD card which has the files containing the mp3 sounds already uploaded. So, what's on the SD card? I'm glad you asked. So, what we have is, I've mounted this is up on the computer so I can upload files. There's a directory called mp3, and then two files, one, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see it a bit better. There we go. The first three characters have to be an index. So 001, 002, 003, etc. What comes after that doesn't matter. It's just those first three characters have to be an index. So now we've got the files on this. Let's whack it into the machine. And this has four pins on it. So receive, transmit, BCC, and ground. Now, trick for the beginner here, and it's caught me out many, many times myself, even though I've been doing this for a while now, is, so I'm just trying to move papers around. I need to tidy my desk. If you have, if you're connecting a wire between one of these and one of these, the receive on this goes to the transmit pin on here, and the transmit pin on here goes to, and sorry, receive to transmit, transmit to receive. So basically you've got to swap them over. You don't put RX to RX and TX to TX, like I've done many times in the past, and then try, sat there trying to figure out why the system wasn't working properly. So I've got one, two, need another couple of wires. There's a blue and let's find a red. Uh, no, that's not the red. That'll do. Right, so BCC to five volts, five volts, five volts. There we go. Let's go ground, oh, ground to ground. Right, RX pin goes to Pin, let's go pin 10 and uh, no, let's just swap that around. Let's go 12, 10, just because I like it that way. So power, then we have receive and transmit across to here, which of course, when we're setting up the serial device, we've got to make sure it's switched around. So let's plug it in. Thank you, Windows. Right, let's start. So let's start with the ubiquitous serial.begin9600. And then what we'll do is serial.println setting up M nope, MP3. So as I said, this is a serial device. So this talks to this using you know, serial communications. So first thing we'll do is figure out how to set these two up. Now, these have a hardware serial device in it, which you can use, which are these pins here, RX and TX. But these, I believe, if I remember rightly, are connected to this. So if you're using those two pins for, to, to this device, you can't use serial comms here. So what you need to do is set up a software serial device. Now, luckily, one is fairly easy to get hold of, software serial, and software serial, MP3, and then you put the receive pin, which is 10, and that's 12, whoops, 12. So I suppose I should really put these in properly. Hash define 
MP3 RX, oops, MP3 RX pin. So just checking. RX pin is blue, which goes around to 12. And hash define MP3 TX pin is 10. Right, so what you do is you set software serial up, and if you need to know how the pins are, hold down control, click on software serial, it'll come here. And as you scroll down, if you don't know C, it's fine, but the key thing you're looking at is here. So this is the nano's receive pin and the nano transmit pin. So it's receive, transmit. So you come back here, I want. So my receive pin is your transmit pin. My transmit pin on the nano is the MP3 receive pin. So that's set up. Okay, so now we have the serial running. What now? Well, yeah, we need to tell it what to do. So how do we do that? So here is the um, data sheet that I've picked up. Um, when I got the device, which I obviously got a long, a lot longer than I thought it was. But anyway, if you ignore all the physical pictures, you know, it's from a company called OpenSmart. Yada yada yada, whole bunch of stuff. Key thing is here, you got to talk to it using 9600, which we all remember. And then you scroll down, scroll down, and it's this thing here, commands. You send it commands, and our commands are a series of bytes, always starting with 70, always finishing with EF. The first byte tells you how many bytes there are, and then you have all the commands. So if you look at, let's say, play, start, we have two bytes, one, two, and then we finish with EF. More complicated command, like play with index, 7E, start, four bytes, one, two, three, four, ending in EF, and that's play, and that's the first song, that's the second song. So as you can see, use two bytes for the index. And what we're going to do is play with volume, which says play first song, 0, 01, at volume 1E, which is max volume. You can go 0 to 30. But first off, we have to tell it we want to use storage device to the TF. This document calls TF to mean the um, SD card. So we've got to send it that command. 7E, blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's just copy that. Switch back to the workbench. Paste it in. So those are the series of commands we've got to send. But the first thing we need to do is set the board rate. So mp3.begin 9600. And once we've done that, we then go, right, so uh, mp3.write. Then we want to send the byte 7e. Just copy that. Paste there, paste there, paste there, paste there. And that's one of them. One of them. One of them. And one of them. Let's just tidy up. So what we're sending is Start byte, three bytes together, one, two, three. Set up or select device SD card. Oh, now, once we've done that, we'll verify, make sure we have any typos, all done. Now we want to do, we want to play the first track. So we switch back to the data sheet, come down here, and we'll just copy this one. Play with volume, the first song. Switch back here. And then the loop, we'll play that. And then at the end of the loop, we'll delay for, yeah, uh, let's just say five seconds. So we'll output the first song, then we'll play it again and again and again. So copy that bit again. Paste, paste, because I don't like typing. There and there. And then I'll be very lazy, just copy that bit and go paste, 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 almost working right. Oh, missed. 
and we'll just go to that. So that basically says, oops, start four bytes, one, two, three, four, play this this volume, 15, this. Let's verify that. That's nice. And let's upload it and see what happens. dum de dum There you go. And it's playing. Hmm. Saying so it's playing track two. Well, let's switch that to one. Upload that. Well, let's switch this to two. I may have my tracks the wrong way around on the file system. Okay. There we go. I'll unplug that because you don't really need to listen to me saying that over and over and over again. So, yeah, so basically that's it, guys. Um, you know, set it up to select the SD card, play a song, and yeah, there are locks and locks of different commands. Um, I believe that one there inject you can actually uh, send it the bytes to play over the serial device um which will take a bit of time given the fact it's only what 90, 9 600 boards it's not particularly fast you know, sleep reset first song tenth song all that sort of stuff um there you go you can actually put them in directories so you tell it which directory you want which track um I don't know why those two were getting it around the wrong way because I'm pretty sure I've got set it up right. But something to play with in the future anyway. And then you can do statuses. So, you know, with this, you could probably write yourself a nice little GUI if you wanted, um, which sat on your PC sending commands through to the serial port out to the device to, you know, you could say here, well, if I press the one key, start playing song one, you know, rudimentary GUI. But yeah, so that is a relatively simple, fairly easy to use, uh, serial MP3 player. Lots and lots of applications. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, th these things aren't expensive. I think they're about five bucks, 10 bucks each. This is Australian, so what, $7? Five pounds, $7. Relatively simple, fairly cheap. Um, you can whack 32 gig of MP3s on here if you want an extremely large playlist. And as you can, as you could hear, it actually was quite loud. And this is only for a small little one watt speaker. So you can imagine what happens if you plug this into a bit of an amplifier circuit and bigger speakers. But I hope you found that interesting. Like and subscribe, leave any comments below, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.